Have you ever wished your phone could just do things for you automatically? Like setting an alarm, creating notes, or adding events to your calendar without lifting a finger? If you're a Samsung user, One UI 8.0 is about to make your life a lot easier. With the latest update, Samsung is making its modes and routines feature even more powerful, giving users new ways to automate everyday tasks using built in apps like Calendar, Clock, and Samsung Notes. If you've used modes and routines before, you already know it's one of the smartest tools Samsung offers, second only to the good lock suite when it comes to deep customization. With One UI 7.0, Samsung added some helpful features, but now with One UI 8.0, the feature has taken another big step forward. New then actions have been added, which means your phone can now do even more for you when certain conditions are met. Let's start with the Clock app. In the past, you were limited to just a few options, like setting an alarm or timer. But now, there's a full set of new actions. You can create, find, update, turn on or turn off alarms automatically. You can also reset, start, or stop the stopwatch based on certain triggers. For example, if you start your morning routine, your phone can automatically set an alarm for the next day or reset your stopwatch if you use it for workouts. These small tasks might seem simple, but once they're automated, it makes using your phone feel much smarter. Now let's talk about the Samsung Calendar. With the new update, your phone can automatically create events, find specific ones, show details, or even update calendar entries when certain conditions are met. Imagine this every time you get a meeting invite from work, your phone could automatically add it to your calendar with a reminder. That's the kind of real world help this update brings. The Samsung Notes app has also been included in these new automation features. You can now automatically create a new note, add text, to an existing one, or even search and open notes based on certain triggers. For instance, you could set your phone to open your grocery list as soon as you arrive at the store, or create a note with your voice every time you end a phone call with a client. These changes may seem small at first glance, but they open the door to a more hands free and organized way of managing your daily tasks. What's exciting is how this fits into Samsung's broader strategy to give users more control. The more customizable your phone becomes, the more it works for you instead of just with you. And while this update is impressive, there's still more potential. Many users hope Samsung and Google will work together to expand these automation tools even further. Apple already has its shortcuts app for iPhone users, but Android doesn't have a system wide alternative. Samsung's modes and routines could be the perfect base to build on, especially if it eventually supports third party apps. Huawei has just launched the standard Nova 14, and it's already available for purchase in China. The phone officially went on sale on May 30th and is listed on Huawei's online VMall store. What's exciting is that this first sale comes with a decent discount, making the Nova 14 a more appealing choice for those looking for a solid mid range device. The Huawei Nova 14 comes in two screen versions, one with a regular display and the other with Kunlun glass, known for better durability. You also get to choose between two storage options, 256 GB and 512 GB, and there are three color options, ice crystal blue, frost white, and black. So, whether you want more storage or a tougher display, there's something for everyone. As for the pricing, Huawei has kept things competitive. The 256GB version is priced at 2,699 yuan, but after a Chinese subsidy, it drops to 2,251.65 yuan. The 512GB model is 2,199 yuan, with a final subsidized price of 2,506.65 yuan. If you go for the top variant, 512GB with Kunlun glass, you'll pay 3,099 yuan, or 2,676.65 yuan, after the discount. These prices make the Nova 14 quite an attractive option, especially for buyers who want a feature packed phone without paying flagship prices. Now let's talk about the features. The Nova 14 comes with a 6.7 inch OLED screen, which offers a 120 hertz refresh rate, making scrolling and animations look very smooth. It also has 20 Wii 160 hertz high frequency PWM dimming, which helps reduce eye strain, and a 300 hertz touch sampling rate for quick and responsive touch input. The display supports over 1 billion colors, offers P3 wide color gamut, and can reach up to 1100 nits of brightness, which means you'll get vibrant visuals even in bright outdoor settings. Under the hood, 
The phone is powered by the Kirin 8000 processor. This chip may not be top tier, but it should offer solid performance for daily use and casual gaming. The Nova 14 runs on Harmony OS 5.0, Huawei's own operating system, which brings a range of smart features like magic image shift, portrait retouch, mood-based text themes, and a personal assistant called Celia that can be accessed through the smart control key. You also get touch share for quick file transfers and some new calling features to improve your overall experience. Camera-wise, the Nova 14 is well-equipped. On the back, it has a triple camera setup. There's a 50-megapixel RYYB main camera, an 8-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 12-megapixel RYYB telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom. The RYYB sensors are known for better light sensitivity, which means clearer photos even in low-light conditions. What would you do if you walked past a commercial shoot and realized they were filming an ad for a phone that hasn't even been announced yet? Well, that's exactly what happened recently when someone, known online as Mark's Gone Public, stumbled upon what looks like a Pixel 10 Pro commercial being shot in public. This wasn't just a random scene. It was a full storyboard-based commercial titled Ask More of Your Phone, which sounds exactly like the kind of tagline Google would use for its Pixel brand. What made it even more interesting is that he took pictures of the storyboard and a few shots from the actual shoot, which gave away quite a few details about the upcoming Pixel 10 Pro. One of the first things that caught everyone's attention was the presence of the temperature sensor. This little detail might sound minor, but it helped confirm that the phone in question isn't the regular Pixel 10. It's the Pro version. The temperature sensor was featured on the Pixel 9 Pro, and its return on this phone pretty much gives away the model. What's even more suspicious is that shortly after these leaks were posted online, the user's account was taken down. While there's no official word, it looks like Google might have had something to do with that, possibly to prevent more leaks from spreading. Visually, the Pixel 10 Pro doesn't look very different from the Pixel 9 Pro. The design seems to be consistent with the past couple of models, which makes sense. Google tends to stick with its design language for at least a few generations. However, the real story isn't what you see on the outside. It's what's happening inside the device. The Pixel 10 Pro will reportedly be powered by a brand new chip called Tensor G5, and this time it's not just another variation of a Samsung chip. Google has finally designed this processor from the ground up, marking a major turning point for the Pixel series. What makes this even more interesting is that Google has also moved away from Samsung Foundry, which used to manufacture its previous chips. Instead, the Tensor G5 will be built by TSMC, the world's largest chip manufacturer. TSMC is using its second-generation 3-nanometer process, known as N3E, to produce this new chip. This switch could mean improved performance, better energy efficiency, and the potential for unique features that are only possible when a company has full control over both the software and the hardware. This is a big deal because Pixel phones now come with seven years of software updates. That's a long time and it means users won't need to upgrade their phones as often. So if Google wants to keep people excited about buying new Pixels, they'll need to offer standout features that go beyond just the usual camera and battery upgrades. With a fully custom-designed chip, Google has a better chance of doing exactly that, bringing new features that only the Pixel 10 series can offer. As for the launch, current rumors suggest that Google will officially reveal the Pixel 10 lineup, 